Okay, we're recording. Hi, YouTube. Uh, my name's Andy. I'm going to be doing some Minecraft videos. Uh, wow. Let's set the timer here. Um, I haven't done, haven't done much of this. Uh, sorry, <laughs> a little distracted. Um, we are planning on um, getting a new server, and uh, I've been playing on new Atari server since about April, and we've gotten a lot of stuff built. But with the advent of 1.4, we're going to be actually putting out. Uh, he's going to be starting a new server. We had some issues with this server, um, and just recently, last week actually, this is October 15th. 2012, which should be in the title, but as of last week, uh, some holes started appearing, memory corruption or something, I don't know what, uh, this is ridiculously loud, let's get it turned down, anyway, um, so, I wanted to do some tours of the old server, mainly the villages that we got set up, just to kind of have these, so that if somebody wants to come back and look at them, they don't necessarily have to download the entire thing, uh, new Atari server is a whitelisted server, um, I was lucky enough to have some friends who were on. So today we're going to do a very brief video um, of the, uh, i got to stop saying um, of um, <laughs> the, wonderful, of the village um, that, of my first village that I got set up. I named it Edgerton Village. And uh, as you can see, it started out with uh, Smithy here, a few houses, a church. I have expanded on it considerably, added this in, Edgerton Village Tavern and Inn. Uh, there's a greenhouse there. Uh, some I changed a few of the. Um, stop saying um. I changed a few of the farms, little croplands, into different stuff. We got melons here, pumpkins at the top. There's some uh, sugar cane. Here you can see one of the errors that happened in the game. Um, big chunks were ripped out of the server. I lost. Uh, I lost the part of the. Edgerton Village School, almost exactly half of it, and there was next to it a post office. Over there you can see the resident philosopher, Sarek. Up here is some of the original parts of town, the original church. There were two butcher shops in this town. I added a bookseller. Uh, I added the library there as well, and I really liked this, the bakery. I was really quite pleased with the bakery, actually. Uh, real simple design. Nothing fancy about it, but I, I don't know. I like small, simple buildings. Um, some of the original crop areas. Down here is the industrial part of town, actually. Alchemist shop. Uh, cobblestone generator, miniature cobblestone generator. I think it was uh, Avidya, was I, where I got the original uh, design from online. He's got a YouTube page. Dyes, colors, and wool. There's the new stand. Down here was... Uh, this was originally a um, powered rail generator, which did not work with the advent of 1.3, but I left the building. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm suddenly dry. I should have gotten something to drink. Here was one of the first buildings I added, the watch house. Uh, there's a furnace house that I constructed, some homes. Here's a watchtower. Uh, this is the powered, this is the Edgerton Depot, I believe is what I called it, but it's a rail station. Uh, snow production. Richardson has to have a few uh, a few um, industries. I also added a rail that runs around town um, just before the disaster struck, which was disappointing. It was also a way I could move villagers around the town in case I wanted to... Uh, well, I was trying to get them spread out because they always kind of congregate to the northwest. So I was trying to spread them out around town just a little bit. Where are we at time-wise? Ooh, only three minutes in. Three or four minutes in. A couple of additional houses to increase villager population. This is a house built by my friend Adam. Goes by the name Steel Douglas. Here was a mycelium farm. Um, that's Tower Hill with the Wizard's Tower that I uh, copied off of uh, Paws and Paws, Gould, Gould Boulder Fist, and uh, Vintage Beef were doing Mine Z, and there was a neat tower. So I made it into uh, a tower in the village. Uh, oh, here's the house, the former house of Scotty Garbitas, one of the people that plays on the server. It's Matt. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, this is the, whoops, there's a door left open. This is the mayor's house. Oh, hold on a sec. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, sound is way down. Mayor's house. Um, I'm a Lovecraft fan, like H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, here's Sarek, sorry, Sirak. Sirak, philosopher. Um, then we 
also have the somewhat round house, which is somewhat round, and the house of Keziah Mason. And someone, if anybody wants to write down in the comments if you see it, who they think that is, that's also another Lovecraft reference. Um, there, the walls used to be in this area where this pillar was. There's the old uh, gate. And actually, Lovecraft's um, Lovecraft's wall around his house was originally part of the original wall of the village. Over here is the Edgerton Mining Concern. That goes down to a ravine very deep underground. Let's see, what else? We're going to take you up on the hill here very briefly. Um, uh, Tower Hill, yeah, underground bathhouse. It started out as just another house. I was actually going to make it an orphanage, but uh, then I broke into I broke into the hot springs down here. So decided to... Oh, hey, buddy. Enjoying it? There's one of my blacksmiths. So then decided to make it into a bathhouse. Uh, there's another bathhouse on the other side of town. I didn't get actually down there. Might real quick. Uh, this was one of the original towers just outside of town. Oh, dang it. Um, of course, sign is not working. Not going to worry about that too much. One of the tree houses that I built using 16, 15, 16... 10, 16 trees. Um, kind of proud of this one actually because it turned out really neat. Lots of balconies, uh, several rooms. You could actually live in here if you wanted to. And of course, on top, there's a place for viewing that you can take a look around. Uh, that down there all used to be fields, just an empty field. Oh, nice, nice view of the town. I'll have to take another look from the top of the storm observation tower. <coughs> And we're almost done, actually, because I don't think I'm going to take you outside of town. Uh, this is the the greenhouse. My names aren't terribly original. Sorry about that. Uh, that's made with uh, the green um, green stone and some mossy, which you can see because I'm sure you're not idiots. And here's my storm observatory. I got this guy up and it's a little higher. It's still the same design that I like to build my towers, which is a, essentially a 5x5 five five tower without corners. And then I added a larger room on top so that you could see thunderstorms, which there doesn't appear to be one right now. I'm the only one online. You kind of can get a good view. I keep going with my, with my teeth, too, which I'm not liking. Over there's the uh, little chapel on the hill, on Sacred Hill. Edgerton was a village that's surrounded by two or three different, with uh, three different hills. You can just make out my tower <clears throat> way over there on South Hill, which is just south of the village. Uh, there's downtown. There's the mayor's house. Those towers didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. <clears throat> here's the um, here's the wizard's tower. Mustrum Ridcully as our local wizard, and this area has not been built up yet. Over there are my prototype sheep spawners. Uh, not sheep spawners, sorry, the sheep farm, which had um, one of each color sheep. Uh, some cows were added later on. Some white sheep and a chick and chickens on the edge, and you can just see the skeleton spawner that Adam set up. Hmm, what else? Like I said, um, these are going to be little brief tours just by myself of the various villages on New Antari's server. I will tape um, each of the villages, or each of the sections of villages, because some of them are very small. This is one of the larger ones. And then I'm going to um, not probably do any recording again until 1.4 comes out and we're on the new server. I, got, I am getting a little bit of lag. That's okay. Uh, and I think that's most of everything, as you can see here, Edgerton Village, the old west gate. <coughs> Over there's the sheep farm, the multicolored sheep farm, the original. <coughs> Excuse me, darn it. Oh, I did forget to show, and I wanted to show on this side of town. We'll quick go over here. This is through the old part of town, which was all houses. There are no villagers presently. You know, I hate that this is happening in the rain. Here's the... Here is our lovely dance hall with our collection of records, what we've gotten so far. Uh, I forget, I think Cat's my favorite, but we're not going to play any right now. Um, let's see. Here's the original bathhouse I threw together and the greenery. Oh, uh, it's outside the walls. Sorry, I'm kind of taking you guys in circles and I apologize for that. And I should be using... I say you guys because I've been living in the north so long, but um, I moved back to North Carolina several years ago for all the wrong reasons. And I've been saying y'all more than I say you guys. 
Originally, this was a um, a cave that I one of the first caves I explored, and in it, because it was large enough, and I didn't want to build a gigantic structure in the village, oh, damn it, is my is the sand generator. Uh, this was here we go, designed by D.D. Sloan '96 is where I got it offline. Um, very simple design, works very well though. I'm not going to put it in motion because it'll lag me up tremendously. Well, no, not too bad. But of course, got bunches of sand that is going to be no longer with us, sandstone and the like. And we're at over 10 minutes, and I want to keep this under 15 just because of the, the amount of space that it's going to take up. I hope this video turns out okay. I hope people enjoy um, watching this. We're going to name this one. I keep going. It's really annoying me. We're going to name this one Edgerton Village. And I'm going to work on my speaking voice because apparently it's it's not great if I'm saying um all the time and uh, clicking with my sucking on my doing that little sucking noise with my teeth. Here's my house. That's South Hill. Uh, I'm just going to run inside because I'm getting whoops tired of the rain. And here's storage. And down here is my lab. Since this server is going to be gone forever and I will be having a new home eventually, I can show one of my little secrets, which is a secret door that I set up, but then Adam uh, Steele Douglas actually hooked me up with a, um, what do you call it, flip-flop, T-flip-flop, to hide my treasures. Ooh, I thought this was actually a lot of diamonds, and I found that he has 36, what do you call them, 36 block, diamond blocks all the stuff I've enchanted since 1.3 came out because I've really been enjoying the chanting enchanting here are my mega shovels and I you know I wanted to throw a shout out real quick since this is my first real Minecraft video even though I didn't do anything to um, good boulder fist is the first guy that I watched playing Minecraft old-fashioned enchanting room and B double O I really enjoyed their lead. I really got hooked up with Minecraft by watching Legendary. So I wanted to throw a shout out, and I'm going to put a link to their web page, to their YouTube pages in the description. Uh, they're the ones that really got me fascinated by Minecraft, a simple sandbox game that was just a lot of fun. So here's a shout out to the you guys. I also have really enjoyed. Wow, I'm getting lightheaded talking so fast. Sorry guys. I hope I'm not talking too fast to be understood. But. Uh, I really enjoyed their videos, and I enjoyed the videos of Pause and Pause and Vintage Beef. You guys are a lot of fun to listen to and watch. It's just, um, you've gotten me involved in Minecraft, and I've finally gotten a computer that I can do stuff with. And there's the phone, so we're going to call it quits. So this is the first of these videos, and I will hopefully soon be making more. Thanks very much, and bye.